Tricks. Um, I'm going to be explaining this uh, short chapter of uh, from this book uh, called Shopping, and it's uh, well, it might not seem a very significant chapter. It actually gives us a little bit more insight into uh, what's actually going on between uh, Lully and Pym. And although it doesn't say as much, it's, it's sort of an awkward encounter uh, between Ruth, uh, Pym's or Edgar's wife, and Lully at the at the, the shopping center. We we realize immediately at the beginning of this chapter that Pym and Lully's relationship has developed. She even knows that he is particular about wines. She says she just drinks shots with the purpose of getting drunk. And probably this has a lot about forgetting the things from her past. And that's why she's overseas too, because she's running away from these things, running away from the South African truth uh, about the things in South Africa that have that have caused her to feel this way. But she meets uh, Ruth and she greets her. And there's this awkward, awkward encounter. So... We as the reader, we know that there's something more than possibly just friendship happening between Lully and Pim because of the wine and because she knows that about him. And also because of this, uh, Ruth shares about her mother's back problems and this is what we read. Lully knows about the back problems and every other weekend. So Pim is clearly sharing his disgust or the fact that he dislikes going there or that it's a drag for him or he just mentions it. But this has come up in conversation. And when that kind of stuff comes up in conversation with someone, it means that there's a level of comfort with them. You tell them everything. And so Pim and Lully, whether or not they're at this point, um, uh, you know, sexually or physically involved again, is not the point. The point is there's a real emotional connection. And that is why this is such an awkward encounter, because Lully knows things about Ruth that Ruth doesn't necessarily know about Lully. Another telling question in this chapter is when Ruth asks Lully, I suppose you must feel rather cut off from your mother being so far away and Lully concedes that she hasn't seen her for several years. Ruth is shocked by this. She, uh, her own mother phones nightly discuss news and knitting down mentions or whatever. And so Ruth has an incredible relationship with her mother, a really close relationship and can't understand that there's a disconnect for Lully. And yet Lali's story is so poignantly sad. Um, and from what we've read before, we know that there never has been much relationship between Lali and her mother. At the end of this chapter, Lali watches through the glass as Ruth signals to her cab and gathers her disarray, arrayed hair against the wind with the other. And really, it's, it's a story of two worlds. It's a story of Pim's two worlds, his connection to South Africa and Lully being the one world and his new life with Ruth and his children being the other. Well, that's that. Very short chapter. Um, the next chapter that we're going to look at is a chapter called Half Term Friday, which includes a little bit called Half Term Saturday. And then after that, a short chapter called Procreation. Um, and after that, there's another chapter called Saturday Evening, which ends part one of the novel. And Dr. Moore um, will be going through the important points in that chapter. When you get what you want, but not what you need.